And that has become my new normal. It's crazy how something I spent years with and fell in love with and brought me into the hobby sounds so alien to me after spending time with this. If you guys didn't see my video a year ago, which you can see right up there, I upgraded my turntable from a Pioneer PL518X, a solid table, to a clear audio concept. My biggest upgrade since I started collecting records. I always knew that I wanted to eventually upgrade my setup, but the audiophile community seemed a little daunting at first, and I wanted to make sure when I took the step, I did it properly. Well, thanks to Garth at Musical Surroundings and the guys at Audio Element in Pasadena, they guided me towards the clear audio concept, and I could not be happier. People have been asking me to do a first impression video countless times since I got it, and after spinning dozens upon dozens of records, I think it's about time I share my thoughts. If you haven't already, it'd be awesome if you'd like this video, hit the red subscribe button, and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any weekly videos I put out. Let me preface this by saying it's difficult to explain to somebody why it's worth getting audiophile gear. Whether it's $1,600 or $16,000, the real benefit only comes from when you get to spend time with it. Think about it like this. It's like really high quality food or fine wine. Someone could write paragraphs upon paragraphs of exactly why they love it, but until you try it yourself, you're not gonna have any idea. And like great food and great wine, once you have it, there's no going back to fast food, boxed wine, and standard bitrate MP3s. Sure, you can go to your local hi-fi shop, listen to their setup, listen to the records you like, and it may be a cool experience, but it truly isn't till you bring it home and spend time in your space with your records that you'll really understand the benefits. When I started playing records on my Clear Audio Concept, ones that I had played on my old turntable many, many times, I was hearing little nuances, sounds, things that I had never heard before. It was honestly like listening to some of my favorite records for the first time again. Some of those records that had a warp that caused them to be unplayable or less than optimally playable were actually playing great. Records with scratches on them would play through with less or no surface noise. The highs are higher and the bass was richer. The combination of this turntable and the moving magnet cartridge allows for the tone arm and the needle and the cartridge to pull sounds out of the records I've had for a long time that weren't possible with my previous setup. I really understand now why people hunt down audiophile pressings of records. You'll never be able to really duplicate that feeling of being at a live show, but that's what the audiophile community is trying to do, tweaking their systems and upgrading ever so slightly to get you closer and closer to that in the living room, authentic raw experience. My current speakers are these Fluence floor standing signature speakers and they are tremendous. What's even more exciting is I haven't been able to use them to the fullest potential either because I'm in a New York City apartment and I can only play them so loud without my neighbors wanting to murder me. Thinking about the future when I'll have a record cave where I can make videos in the studio portion and then lounge and sit back and enjoy these babies to the fullest is very exciting. I've also really been enjoying, more than in my last setup, listening to records through my Sennheiser headphones. The clear audio plays those recordings so powerfully and crisp, it's like a party inside my skull. And of course, as you guys saw in the video, it's going through my new Marantz PM7000N, which is just a stellar unit that really captures that warm Marantz sound everyone's looking for. I love the clear audio, not just for the way it performs, but the way it looks. It's minimal, it's sleek, it's easy to use, so there's no real room for user error. Also, it plays 78s, which is a cool feature that I haven't utilized yet, but in the future, I'd like to. As for cons, the only major con I can think of after a year of use is just a personal one because I'm lazy. There's no auto return, which I got used to on my Pioneer. When you finish the disc, it lifts up and goes back. But I looked into it, and apparently that feature will compromise the sound of the tone arm, and that's not something that I'm willing to give up after spending so much time with this guy. It's so funny, I was sitting in my living room recently and I was listening to my old setup, which is completely intact out there, as it was in my older Too Many Records videos. I was listening to a record, and I couldn't believe how dull and lifeless it sounded. And it was a damn good record too, it was Prince 1999. It just sounded so weak in comparison. I feel like I'm used to the new setup with the clear audio, the Marantz, and the Fluence, or the headphones, and that has become my new normal. It's crazy how something I spent years with and fell in love with and brought me into the hobby sounds so alien to me after spending time with this. At one point, it was the best I had ever heard on a regular basis. Ultimately, here's the biggest takeaway from this video, beyond the fact that I love all this gear. Your involvement with the audiophile community or upgrading your gear entirely depends on how rich and deep of an experience you're looking for when it comes to the hobby. If you're casual about your records, you only own maybe a handful, you don't listen very often, it's more of just a novelty, 
this clearly is not for you. You're never gonna spend $2,000 on a turntable and that's totally fine. But if you love music and you love the fact that vinyl doesn't sound better always, but sounds unique and special when recorded properly, and you wanna figure out just how close you can get to your albums that you love, this is something I think that you should invest your time and money in. I genuinely have surprised myself with how much deeper I've fallen in love with the hobby of listening to records after upgrading my setup. Every time I hear a record, whether it's for the first or the 10th time, and my jaw hits the floor, it's a priceless moment. So leave a comment on this video with your thoughts about either my setup or leave a comment with your setup. I'd love to see what you guys are working with. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Maybe we can get some nice conversation going in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna go spin a record now, but keep watching. More videos coming soon. Take it easy.